Okay, it's um, afternoon now and I thought I'd do another afternoon um, video. Today I'm talking about countersink um, units from Festool. Here's the little Festool unit over here. This is one and this is the other. This is a, a 3.5 millimeter shaft. This is a, a 4.5 millimeter shaft. Now, you're gonna say, what's the difference between this one and let's say this one, which is pretty much a standard countersink um, style. You can adjust the um, drill up and down, of course. But the trouble is, there's no way of registering how far your countersink is going to be. And this is where the Fest tool is fantastic. The Fest tool allows you to dial your countersink hole accordingly to how deep you want your screw. So for instance, down here, down there, you've got a grub screw. Just undo the grub screw. And now as you can see, the countersink can pull in and out. So you can adjust it to exactly the type of screw head that you want just to sit either on the surface or just below the surface. It has a flat section in there which allows you to lock it in nice and tight so it won't twist. But then, of course, with the little hole in the window in the side here, it's just a matter of unscrewing this, loosening that off, and now you can lengthen your screw, I mean your drill, I should say, not the screw, um, you lengthen your drill to however you want. So I'm just doing some rough holes at the moment that I want to do, but I like to keep the countersink at the same level that I normally do. So I just tighten this back up. Now the beautiful thing also too is, not only is it a depth stop, but it turns. And as a result, of, as it's turning, so when you are actually got it against, let's say, a finished uh, product, a laminate or a finished lacquered board, you don't mar it, you don't, you don't damage it because it's not spinning around. The whole thing is not spinning around. And I'll show you, it's just a matter of popping it in the, the drill based on the, the system. Put it like so. Pushing it down, notice it's not spinning. There you've got a nice clean hole. You uh, obviously screw down the the screw, where's my drills? Uh, I've got drills everywhere. Here's my uh, drill. Beautiful. Here it is, nice and neat, and it is below the surface, this one. But I can adjust it so that it's sitting just on the surface. The The aspect of having a 4.5 millimeter one is this head, the pilot hole is 4.5 millimeters, which for obviously is for a bigger, uh, a more chunkier screw. I'll just uh, loosen it a bit more. It gets a bit jammed because it's been sitting around for a while. And you see, this has got a, a bit more of a chunkier head to it all. So you take. Yep. So this has got more of a chunkier head to it all. But um, yeah, all in all, these are fabulous. Um, and they're really good for finishing work and you can be really exact with them. So if you haven't seen them around, this is what they're like. Um, and they're great investment. And you can sharpen them to keep the chamfer nice and uh, sharp. But I'll show you that shortly. See you later.